Hey guys, it's Drea. So today I have my low buy update slash my haul for the month of September. And actually this is kind of a haul for half of October too, because it's October 13th when I'm filming this and I have not really purchased anything in October yet. There might've been like one thing that actually happened in October. I probably won't do one of these videos at the beginning of November just cause I haven't been buying a lot. Um, so my low buy I think is going pretty good. I have, I had, I did purchase a few things this month, but I also got a lot of stuff for free and I'll kind of explain that. Um, going into November is my birthday month. So not that I plan on spending a bunch of money on myself, but you know, you get gift cards and gifts from people and that kind of thing. So hopefully I will do well on my no buy or not no buy, my low buy in November as well. God, could you imagine if this was a no buy? That wouldn't be good. All right, so first of all, let's talk about my BoxyCharm. Um, I was kind of annoyed because first I signed up for BoxyLux and then they said I wasn't gonna be getting it. And then I was kind of like, oh, that's good because I kind of changed my mind. I was like, I don't really need it. Um, so I'll take this as a sign. I, I won't get the BoxyLux. And then I ended up getting the BoxyLux anyway. Um, I'm really not impressed with it at all. I, I think if you've watched any BoxyLux openings, I think most people this month were not very impressed with it. Um, I, I'm not even gonna show you everything in it because I gave away half of it. Like half of it I knew I wasn't gonna use, I wasn't impressed with, and I was just like, nope, I'm noping right out of this one. And I unsubscribed completely from BoxyCharm, not just BoxyLux, I unsubscribed from BoxyCharm. I kind of decided that even though I liked some of the products I was getting, I disliked enough of them so that if there is something that I really see that I'm like, oh, I want that, I could just buy that thing. Do you know what I mean? Like if I see people hauling BoxyCharm items and there's some amazing palette or something, I can just buy that palette. I don't need to subscribe to BoxyCharm. I think I've decided um, after getting four boxes, was it three or four? I think three boxes, either way. It's not for me. I don't really care that much. So I'm just gonna show you the things that I actually kind of liked and am keeping from the BoxyCharm um, or BoxyLux. Man, this is getting annoying having to say that over and over. So these are the Moda Studio brushes. It's an eight piece pro glam set by Royal and Lang Nickel. Um, so here are all the brushes in there. It looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, five eye brushes, three face brushes. I will say though, Whenever you get a brow brush in a brush set, that just turns me off. Nobody needs that many brow brushes. I don't even use brow brushes. I don't know anybody who really uses brow brushes. There are a few people maybe that I've seen on YouTube that use them in eyeshadows if they're trying to pan something. I don't know. I just, I don't like it when brush companies put brow brushes in these things. They just don't get used and I think it's wasteful. I will use all of the eye brushes, but I might decide to either put this in a giveaway. I haven't done a giveaway in a long time and I've been thinking about that. I might put this in, in a giveaway. I might sell it. I might give it to a gift to somebody or I might use it. I haven't totally decided, so I'm not gonna totally open it. One thing I do really like, I actually talked about this in a recent video. Um, I got this. This is the Tarte High Performance Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. And I actually really like this. I've used it a bunch of times. I'm pretty impressed with the quality of it. Obviously, oh, I hate when I try to show it to you and it flips over on my, my hand because then my hand gets full of eyeshadow. Anyways, this is what the inside looks like. Um, it's obviously just like a face contour palette and then an eye contour palette. So it's all matte everything in here. And even the eye shades are very, very basic, like the most basic you can possibly get. But I like having this in my collection. I like being able to know if I need something basic, if I need a black to just do a smudgy eyeliner, if I need a brow bone highlight, if I need just a basic crease shade, I can reach for something easy. And that's why I like this. So I'm actually pretty happy I have this. I've been using it a ton and I think it's really good quality. It also smells really good too. Somebody in one of the groups I meant said they were personally victimized by this water bottle. Um, so I am a victim of the water bottle as well. However, I think I kind of like the idea of it. This is the Clean Skin Club Fruit Infuser Water Bottle. I understand why people did not like to get this. Um, it's not makeup, A. Like if this was a FabFitFun box, I think I would understand it more. 
just toss in boxes because my recycling's right there. Um, I think I would understand it more if it was a FabFitFun box. This isn't that. Like, this is supposed to be makeup, right? So I think that's why people were really annoyed. Um, the idea is that you can put fruit in the middle and then you put water in the outside and that, you know, you can make flavored water with fruit and that it's just really good for your skin because you're actually drinking water. Um, I like that idea. I need to drink more water. I haven't been, been bringing bottled water to work, but it would be nicer to bring, you know, something better for the environment. Um, so yeah, I think I probably will use this. I don't know if I'm going to infuse fruit in it or not but I, I will use it, so I don't mind getting it. And then the only other thing in that entire Voxilux that I'm gonna keep is this, it's the Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask from Dr. Brandt, and I don't know anything about it, but I like the idea of it, because I guess it's a probiotic sleeping mask. It says for all skin types, apply a mask to clean dry skin before bedtime, use nightly. I like, I, I liked receiving this. I don't really like BoxyCharm for as much skincare as they give you, though. I think that they should give you more makeup. A skincare is so personal that it's like, you know, you don't want to be receiving skincare that isn't for you. And also, they've been putting so much skincare in recently, like, I can't use it all as fast as they've been giving it to me. So, I wish they would put more makeup in. But anyway, that was it for what I'm going to show you for that. Um, did I only purchase three things this month? I feel like I only purchased actually, oh no, there's some Clinique there too. Oh, uh, there's, let me just open this. This is a bag from London Drugs. Not everything in here is from London Drugs, but we'll just go through it. So this is what I actually bought from London Drugs. The London Premier 100% cotton biodegradable cotton pads. I usually get the Walmart ones, but I just never had time or the desire to go into Walmart lately. So I just stopped in at London Drugs and got those. That's the second package. I got two of them. Also got this. Um, but this is my used up one. The one I, the, the replacement one is in my bathroom. This is the Bioderma micellar water, basically. Um, but this one is the kind that has the pump that you can actually press the, the cotton pad down on. And it is just like, I feel like this last, this one lasted me forever. Three times at least longer than a normal bottle of this. Because a normal bottle that you're pouring onto the cotton pad, I feel like you're wasting so much product. Whereas this one, because I'm pressing it, it wasn't going all over the place and it lasted so much longer and I actually use it absolutely every day. So if you are going to buy this, buy this kind. I swear it just, it lasts you so much longer because of that. But I love this stuff. So I repurchased that and I needed it. That was a definite need. I've been very, very unsatisfied with my physician's formula eye booster pen lately. Um, I feel like it dried up almost instantly. Like the week I got it, it was dry. I was having to shake the hell out of it, hell out of it every time. And I haven't even had it that long. So I'm really disappointed. So I decided I was going to repurchase this. This is the Clinique, um, what should we call it? Pretty easy liquid eyeliner pen. And it's just so good. I really love it. It, it really works if you have fine lines, which I have more and more and more especially on the upper part of the eye. I've been having a lot of trouble um, just doing winged eyeliner in the last six months just because of how wrinkly my upper eyelid has gotten. And this is one of the things that is still actually working for me. So I repurchased that and Clinique was having a gift with purchase. So I also purchased the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. Um, I love this stuff. Now normally recently I've been buying the Neutrogena one from the drugstore just because of the price difference. This isn't super expensive, but um, still the Neutrogena one is half the price of this. I think this one is like $20 or so. The Neutrogena one is usually around 10, but they did have the gift with purchase. So I decided to just buy those two things now so I could get this. I'm not gonna keep everything in here. A lot of this stuff I will probably like give as gifts or to people, um, but there is, it came in the plastic. There is another mini of the, um, why can't I talk? There is a little mini of the same makeup remover. Then you have a couple different moisturizers, um, or one is actually a cleanser. I'll probably give this away, because again, I don't need that much cleanser. But there's also a Clinique um, mascara, and then there's a Moisture Surge Concentrate, and a Moisture Surge Supercharge Concentrate. Are those both the same thing? I don't know, but there's a couple of skincare things in here and with a little bag. So I will probably give a few of those things away and probably keep a few, but to me it was worth 
Like I'm gonna use both of those things I purchased anyway, and then I will use a couple things in here for sure. So it was worth it to me. There's three things from Sephora, um, and one thing I bought off a of Facebook group. So the three things from Sephora, I have been loving all of them. This is the Violet Voss Coral Crush palette. I, I saw this when it first launched and I kind of decided I wasn't going to get it because I didn't need a palette of like bright pinks. But then when I swatched it in store, I was really impressed. This is not just an eyeshadow palette, but there's pressed pigments in here too. And I was really impressed by a couple of the metallic shades, um, specifically Peachy, Passion, and I think Shore was one of them that I, oh no, Tiger Lily. Well, I'll, I'll swatch those four. Here is four of the shimmers. I know the lighting is not the greatest. It's because it's nighttime. Um, I'm filming after work. I did redo my makeup though. That's why it looks so fresh, because I'm going out. But there's four of the shades there. This shade here at the bottom specifically is the one that really, really impressed me. And that is the shade Passion. And that is pretty much a dead on dupe for Tarte, um, What's it called? Tarte Frosé, which is one of their chrome paint uh, shadow pots, which is a beautiful color. Um, I'll swatch a couple of the mattes just so you can see the quality. And here's four of the matte shades. Um, these, I don't know if they're all the pressed pigment, pigment formula or if they're just shadows. I don't know which are which, but they are beautiful and very intense. This reminds me of the Huda Beauty Neon Orange Palette, the quality of those mattes, which is also very good. Um, the interesting thing I think about this is, and this is going to sound stupid, but it is really coral. <laughs> so when I looked at this originally, I was like, that's just kind of pink. Like, why are they calling it a coral palette? But some of these shades, especially like some of these mattes over here, they actually look even more coral on the eye than they do in the pan. Okay. N the other palette that I got, and I couldn't say no to this one is the Too Faced Hot Buttered Rum palette. Um, if you're thinking this is a lot of stuff that I bought, remember that eyeshadow palettes are not at all on my low buy or no buy list. They're completely excluded. Um, so I'm still within my rules, but this little hot buttered rum palette from Too Faced is so cute. I decided not to get the Gingerbread Extra Spicy palette. I'm actually wearing the original Gingerbread today just with the glitter on it. And I really like it. I don't think between that palette and this palette that I'm missing anything by not getting the extra spicy palette. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't and just got this one and that one. Um, this one I think is not as great quality as the Tickled Peach palette. The Tickled Peach palette has some really, really nice shimmer shades in it. This one, I just find the shimmer shades are just a little finicky especially this lighter shade here. They just don't apply onto the eye as easily with a brush as I would want them to. Like the Tickle Peach palette, it's so easy with a brush. However, all the mattes in here are really, really nice. I really like the um, these two here, the kind of reddish one and the yellowish one. They just, they just make for a really nice eye look. I don't know. I just have been liking this a lot. I already put this in my favorite, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here because I've been wearing this a ton this month. This is the Ciate Marbled Metals Metallic Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Wicked. This is a purple. You guys know I wore this to work yesterday. It's stunning. Um, that's what it looks like inside. Like, look at that big chunk of silver in there. That really gives it this intense shimmer. So not only is this a metallic, not only is this metallic, but it is super shimmery. The lighting is not gonna be great because like I said, it's nighttime, but I hope you can see the way it, not only does it flat, like it's obviously flashing, but I hope you can see the actual shimmer in it because when it's on the eye, it just sparkles. It's really insane how it sparkles. The only thing I ordered from online from those was the hot buttered rum palette. So I only got one deluxe coupon code thing. And so I got this for free. It's the Matte Revolution lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a little tiny little mini, which is fine. I've never, I don't think I've ever owned any of her lipsticks, but this is in the shade Pillow Talk. And I have owned the Pillow Talk um, lip liner. And I, you know, it's just a classic and I've always heard other people talk about it. So I was really 
excited that they even offered like even this size because you know when am I gonna even go through this much lipstick it doesn't really happen um but yeah it's a super pretty color and I know I will wear that so I am really overjoyed that I got that for free okay one more thing and then I will talk about all the free stuff I got this is a palette that I purchased once before and I didn't declutter it I actually returned it within the 30-day window um, but recently I was watching an old video of mine and I was like, what was I wearing on my eyes? It's so pretty. And I'm really glad that I put my makeup down in the description bar. Um, not only for you guys, for when you want to see, but for me, for those occasions when I happen to be rewatching something going, what is that? I need to wear that right away. Um, this is the Natasha Denona Holiday Palette, the 01 Joya Palette. I'm in a few makeup reselling groups on Facebook. Um, this girl was selling this. I think I got this for $18 shipping included. So I was really excited and it is pretty much I don't know if it's brand new, but some of these shades are definitely untouched. The whole thing looks untouched to me. Um, so I don't know why I returned this when I did, because it does look super beautiful. There is all five shades there. Super, super beautiful. Um, these two shades are really similar. This shade is a matte, and this is a satin though, but the color is the same. And I feel like the finish it's not it's definitely a satin here and definitely a matte but still i don't know i think they're gonna come across kind of the same i think that's why i had returned it originally because it was kind of a one note palette but it looks gorgeous on on my eyes in that video so i'm really actually excited to have this especially for 18 dollars. okay i'm gonna get into all the free freebie stuff um let's start with this because it's super super quick i the manager of lush in my mall dropped off a big box of Lush products to me personally at my store, not for my channel, just because it was like a, hey, if you, you know, an introduction, if you ever want to bring our stores together for something for, I don't know, I haven't talked to her yet, but, but it was kind of like an introduction thing. Um, so there were five products in it. I spread the love, gave my girls a bunch of stuff, and I kept one thing. This is the Rub 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 Shower Scrub, which is such a cute name. Um, and I know I will use a shower scrub for sure. Like definitely I use scrubs to shave my legs, like not to shave my legs. Prior to shaving my legs, I'll use a scrub to exfoliate and uh, I just find it helps with ingrown hairs. This smells so good. It smells kind of like fresh like you would think a blue thing would smell but it smells kind of sweet at the same time that smells amazing okay now i'm really excited um okay here's the most of the free stuff shoppers drug mart if you don't know is a drugstore here in canada that has the best point system in the entire world um and i had 200 worth of points and they recently did a weekend where your 200 worth of points was worth $300. So I decided to redeem them. So I just paid the tax. I think I ended up paying $36 in taxes or something. And that was it. Um, the first thing I got was this. This is the T3 single pass wave professional styling wand. It's in my bathroom. I just used it. I wanted to, I, I was just curling my hair tonight and I was like, I should film a video because then they could see how it actually curled my hair. Um, so yeah, this is curled Obviously I zhuzhed it and everything, but I've used this curling iron a few times and it's super simple to use. I like the shape of it. I like that it's a wand. I needed a wand. I have an iron, but I don't have a wand. Mine got lost when we moved last year and I have never really replaced it. Um, but I really like this. It, it's super easy to use. And what I have done the few times I've used it so far is I've just gone to bed with my hair like curled and then kind of just fixed up a little bit the next morning and I could still have my curled hair throughout the next day. So I really like that about it. It kind of really kept it. Of course there's hairspray in it too, but you know what I mean? So that is my curled hair with the T3. Um, and then the rest of the stuff is right here. Now this is all packaging because I have been using all of this. So number one, this is the Lee Swatchy Gentle Rose Petal Scrub. The Sunday Fridays Rose Mask, I can't remember the exact name of it, but I raved about that earlier this year. I love it. It's beautiful. It, it is an exfoliating mask that has granules in it, but it also has an oil that kind of penetrates your skin and leaves it so soft. This is not the same, but it's very similar. So it's kind of like an exfoliating cleanser that is very gritty and it exfoliates your face, but you could smell the fresh roses in it. And it does still kind of leave a softening 
feel to my face as well. So I really like this. If you can get your hands on that, Lee Swatche is a Canadian company, but I do believe Americans and other people can get it through different websites. Um, I purchased the Bioderma Sensi Bio Eye. I actually repurchased this. I've gone through multiple tubes of this stuff. This is just a really nice, affordable, hydrating eye cream. It's the one I use in the daytime. I always use a retinol one at night, but I only use a regular hydrating one in the day, and this one does such a good job. So I wanted that. Oh, here, I have this one in front of me. I repurchased also the Chanel, La Volume de Chanel mascara. I love this mascara. Obviously, I'm wearing eyelashes right now, but I love this for daily use. It has a rubber band, rubber band, rubber bristle brush that has really, really small bristles, but it gets every lash, coats it perfectly, thickens them, makes them very black. I like this as a layering mascara. So actually I use these two together. This is the Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal and then I use this as my second layer and it separates and gives even more volume and darkness to them. So I just love that combination. I don't know if I would purchase this if I wasn't getting it for free because it's $40, but I love it. And then I talked about this a few videos a while ago. How I wanted to try this so this was a good opportunity because again it was free this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Radiant Concealer I got the shade 1N I actually originally got the shade 2N it was so dark so yellow I was actually shocked I always kind of thought that I was using too light of a concealer from Estee Lauder before so I thought I would go instead of a 1 to a 2 but it was so deep, I couldn't I couldn't do it. It was not brightening at all and it was actually darker than my skin. Um, so anyway, this is one and I exchanged it. And I don't know if I like this. I've used this so many times now, I've probably used it like five or six times. And I just don't think it has very good coverage. It's, co okay, here's how I'm gonna explain this. This is the consistency of Tarte Shape Tape, but way less coverage. So <laughs> it's got this very thick, almost goopy consistency. Um, I feel like it's a little bit patchy and it's also just not very full coverage. So when I saw, you know, Radiant Concealer, I thought it was going to be hydrating and very easily blendable and just like really smooth under the eyes. It's really not. It's kind of, it actually kind of makes me think that it makes my eye, eyes look drier. So anyway, I'm not gonna return it because again, it was free, I can't really return it. But there's my little so far review. Not really a first impression because I've used it quite a few times, but that's my initial review. Um, that's everything that I got for free from my points. And then the very last thing is a PR thing. Beautylish reached out to me, which I was so excited about. Um, I was just like, what? How? How do you know? But anyway, they did and I was just really excited. So this is skincare from that new brand. Oh, I'm opening it upside down. I did that the first time too. Okay, here we go. From that brand, Good Molecules. So it came very nicely packaged. Beautylish though, honestly, always sends their stuff nicely packaged to everyone. So if you've never ordered from them before, Highly recommend, great um, presentation for sure. They sent four things. So here it says, Hydra, I hope you enjoy. Good molecules, can't wait to hear your thoughts. And there's four things. So I have here the Niacinamide Brightening Toner. Um, I don't really like, I'm really gonna have to kind of explore this and, and figure out like what my skin needs and how these things work and what they're for. Cause I feel like I don't even know what they're for. Um, but I don't normally use a toner, but it says brightening, so that that's good. I know niacinamide is a good thing. Anyway, it says formulated with niacinamide, vitamin C, arbutin, and licorice root extract to brighten and improve appearance of enlarged pores. That's good, because I have a lot of enlarged pores, especially in this area. A little a few here and here, but especially right here. So, okay, that's cool. And then this is an overnight exfoliating treatment. It says formulated with 10% AHA and BHA to resurface and renew. I know a lot of people are saying that Good Molecules is kind of the answer to the ordinary, um, which is, I think, the more affordable skincare that, that is accessible to people, the better, right? So... Um, I don't really know how to use this. It just says apply a few drops of clean skin at night. Use up to three times a week. May cause irritation if used with retinol or other acids. So I assume that you just use it by itself. 
but would you put a moisturizer on top of this too? I assume it, if you did put a moisturizer on top of it, it should just be like a hyaluronic or something like moisturizing, no, no retinol, obviously. These two I'm really excited about. Um, the Super Peptide Serum, formulated with tripeptides to target fine lines, wrinkles, and dullness. Hello, that's me. Fine lines, <laughs> fine lines central right here. Okay, so um, apply one drop in the morning and at night before oils and moisturizers, let absorb for 30 seconds. So it's just basically peptide, peptide serum. This packaging is super, super nice. Like it's all glass with droppers, lovely. And then this is the Good Molecule Squalling Oil, lightweight facial oil that softens, seals and moisture and regulates skin's natural oil balance. Um, I'm going to assume because they sent me these four things that you can probably use these all in combination one way or another throughout the day throughout the week. I have been using the squalane oil from Biosense just like I got two little sample sizes from somewhere or other and I have been liking it but that one I think is mixed with rose oil so it'll be interesting to see the difference between that and this. Um, yeah because I've been liking how soft it makes my skin. So that is from Good Molecules. Thank you to Beautylish and Good Molecules to sending, for sending that to me. Um, I don't get a lot of PR, so when brands reach out to me, it's just extra exciting, and I'm just really excited to try this stuff. I will let you guys know how I like it, if I like it, and but it will probably take a while, because skincare does take a while for you to notice any differences. That's my haul slash low buy update. Um, I know there wasn't a lot of low buy updating in this video. I just feel like a, the BoxyCharm thing, cancelled. Oh, you know what else I wanted to tell you? I unsubscribed from basically any email that came through my box in the last week. I've hit unsubscribe. Sephora, never thought I would do that. I just decided, why do I need to look at these emails every day, taunting me, tempting me, all this stuff. So I unsubscribed from all of them. And this is even more important, I think. I unfollowed every account on Instagram that was either a brand because I don't want to be sold to, um, or somebody who like, I don't know, accounts that didn't make me feel good about myself. And some of the, some of that is not their fault. Like sometimes I'm just, there's, there's that green eyed monster and you look at somebody who's beautiful and looks flawless all the time. And you're like, I hate you. <laughs> and I don't like feeling that way. And more so I hate me because I hate you. Um, so I don't actually hate anybody, but I think you get the point. So I unfollowed a bunch of those accounts and then um, there was like a third reason. I unfollowed like a hundred different accounts that just I felt were not contributing to my well-being and were contributing some of them to my overspending. And so I think that's definitely going to be helpful. I can't believe I unfollowed like Sephora though. I did. I unfollowed Sephora and every single brand and every like it's kind of crazy. So, but I felt immediately better and over the last few days of going back on Instagram, it's been a different experience. I definitely feel more positive and less anxiety when I am on Instagram now. And I think that I was feeling anxiety when I was scrolling through Instagram, which is crazy because I didn't even realize it until after I un unfollowed all those accounts. Like I didn't even realize that it was making me feel that way. So if you haven't, highly recommend. Um, that's it for today though. I hope that you found this really helpful. And if you have not subscribed yet, definitely do that. I would love to see you around in the future. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope that you're speaking to yourself kindly, especially when you look in the mirror. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.